Despite steady economic performance, people in Asia and the Pacific are experiencing weaker purchasing power, subdued job creation, and deeper inequalities. Available fiscal resources to invest in a brighter future are shrinking. Many developing countries are forced to choose between servicing debt or investing in education, health and social protection for their people. In addition, governments in the region are paying more on their borrowings while loan repayments are due sooner. Yet, hope remains. At the SDG Summit in 2023, World leaders endorsed the SDG stimulus to provide more affordable and long-term financing for developing countries. The 2024 Economic and Social Survey of Asia and the Pacific examines how countries in the region, donors, multilateral development banks and credit rating agencies can boost the availability of affordable and long-term financing for governments. At a fundamental level, Stronger public revenue collection helps reduce fiscal risks and borrowing costs. Yet, least 16 Asia-Pacific economies are still trapped in a low tax zone. Apart from digitalizing tax administration, policies to increase society's willingness to pay taxes offer untapped benefits. More developed capital markets are also needed to unleash sizable domestic savings in the region for development financing. Support from the international community is needed as these domestic policy actions take shape. Donors should give assistance to countries most in need, rather than their political allies. Multilateral development banks need to improve their lending capacities, including through fresh capital injections to catch up with growing development needs of the developing world. While assessing sovereign credit risks, Credit rating agencies should appreciate that public investments in sustainable development raise sovereign creditworthiness over time. To realize the SDG stimulus in Asia and the Pacific, let's act together to boost political will and revive optimism for multilateralism.